Hello, everybody. Salty Sweet Ren here with something a little bit more unscripted, a little bit more unplanned. Uh, I haven't really been making a ton of videos lately. I haven't been like in the mindset to do like a lot of my usual stuff like clan gen or the sims or anything. I've been hitting writer's block with my sims 3 challenge, which is not a new story. That's like old news by now, but um, I still wanted to get like something out and a few people were asking like how I've been doing like my sprite recolors. Technically they're not my sprite recolors, but like how I put the sprite recolors into the game. Most of the sprite recolors that I use are actually made by someone called Thray. And Thray's recolors are all like super cool. They have like a whole like list, I've mentioned this before, of like a whole bunch of like different colors with like a ton of different variations. You can see here there's snow variation, which is like white. They have like light gray, light blue gray. I've pulled up a bunch of the ones I'm gonna use for my example here, just to kind of show how exactly I go about adding the sprite recolors into the game. Now, first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to either rename the original PNG files that are in the sprite folder. For those who are wondering where the sprites folder is, you should open up your clan gen folder, which should look like this. Click on your sprites folder and there should be a whole bunch of PNG files that have like the different names. I've already gone ahead and renamed a bunch of my, a bunch of like my file names, like the original colors that came with the clan gen, the recolors that I normally use, uh, I've changed to save so I can like pull them back. Or you could just like copy and paste your, um, your sprites and like put them in like a new folder. So you still have like a copy of them, just you won't lose them that way. And then you're going to take whatever your preferred, um, image editing uh, file, or not file, program is. Uh, I cannot talk tonight. Um, and you're going to want to use it to open up the file that you're going to be editing, the sprite file, the copy that you made that you're gonna edit. And you're gonna wanna, co you're gonna wanna open up uh, whatever you, the recolor images that you want to use are. Like for me, I'm using a bunch of the ones that were made by Thray. These are some of my personal favorites, honestly. There's a whole ton that were like made over on the actual uh, Clan Gen Discord. You can like go through, see what your favorite colors are and use those. And uh, you don't have to use the same program I'm using. I like to use Krita because uh, it is a free program that might be a little bit of a learning curve, but uh, I've been using it for years. Some people might prefer might prefer like other programs, I don't know. Some people might prefer like Paint Tool Sci or Photoshop or GIMP or whatever. I don't know how well those work because I don't use them. But uh, I, I like to use Krita because it also has like a whole bunch of like pixel editing uh, tools like brushes and stuff. So it is pretty useful. You're gonna wanna make sure that you know how to like save like whatever program you're using as a transparent image though, as a transparent PNG file, because otherwise you'll have some issues in the game. But anyway, once you have your files loaded up, um, you're going to want to take uh, all the copies. You need your single colors, single extra, speckled colors, speckled extra, tabby, tabby extra. And you're going to want to take whichever color that you intend to uh, replace the old colors with, and use the select tool to find whichever uh, little selection of sprites you're going to be using. Um, for the whites, which are here, I think I'm going to use uh, these snow up here. I've used like the other, I've used uh, these snow over here in the past, but I kind of want to use these ones for now for my little example. And I'm going to be using these for my single color, so let's go ahead, go over here, and we'll just kind of hit paste. And you can see they're kind of like not where I want them to be, so I'm going to go ahead, kind of drag them over. I might need to zoom in a little bit. And try and get it to align just right so that when it pulls into the game we're not going to have any weird like 
overlap or like have the sprites like fall outside of the line art. You could do something where you like you copy and paste the line art onto this image and have like a little guideline for you to like put it into every single uh I cannot talk in like over every single sprite so you have a guideline of like okay this is what like surrounds like this particular shape and then you can like more easily like move the sprites into like where it will fit. I'm I'm sorry if I'm not explaining in a way that makes sense. But the thing is, uh, for the single colors, you would only do these like top three uh, rows. For the single extra, which includes your elders and longford cats, you need to get these bottom six cats. Copy, paste, and then try and get it to line up as much as you can. Try and make sure that you don't see any of the, like, these little pixels along the edge. It can be a little tricky to line up sometimes. Might need to push this one up a little bit. Uh, there might be like a few like flyaway pixels like here at the tip of the tail, but I think that for the most part, uh, this actually looks like it works. Then of course, you'll need to do the same thing for whatever you're going to use for your speckled image. You have to make sure that you do it for all the colors, unless you want your different colors to be completely different, I guess. Let me go ahead, copy, go into the speckled colors, paste. Let's go ahead and put these into the right spot. Did I get that one right? No, it's a little bit off. There we go, that looks about right for speckled colors. Then we do it for Speckled Extra as well. That looks about right. And then of course you want to do it for the tabbies as well. Let's go ahead and pull that right to that spot. And of course the tabby extras. Let's go ahead and put it into that spot over there. Oh hey, I got that one right like right away. Okay. Or I didn't have to click away to be able to see. From there, you would start doing it with all the other recolors that you want to use. I'm going to go ahead and start doing this for every single file. And I'll meet you guys back when I have it all, like, put into the- all the colors put into the spaces I want them. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I have all of the sprites a little bit more replaced. Not a little bit more, I replaced every single of the uh, default sprites with uh, one of Thray's recolors. Each one kind of corresponds to a previous one. They're all a variation that I haven't used in any of my previous um, recolorings that I've done. So let me go ahead, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to save them. Now, right now, I actually have them saved with, like, a completely different file name, because I was going to try and figure out how to, like, actually code them into the game. But right now, I'm just teaching you guys how to recolor, so I'm going to go ahead and on top of save, I'm going to hit save as... I'm going to go ahead and put it into my sprites folder, because, like I said, I've already gone ahead and renamed everything. So this one is supposed to be called Single Colors. And I'm going to go ahead and save it there. I'm going to go ahead and do the same with all the others, which are supposed to be single extra, speckled colors, speckled extra, tabby colors, and tabby extra. So I'm going to go ahead and save all of them as well. Alright, and as you can see, I now have all of the sprites saved here to my sprites folder. 
So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and run my game. And then if I go ahead and continue with my current clan, you'll see that all the recolors are actually now implemented into my game. If I go ahead and compare like some of the cats to their default, like Pricklestorm is now more of a silver, which is what I've added instead of that kind of purpley color that, that, that they were previously. Uh, Blossom Sight kind of has like a darker like face and tail rather than the default that I was originally doing, which is more like a, a lighter like chest and such. Badger Paw is more of like a dark greenish brown rather than like the dark chocolatey brown I was doing before. But uh, yeah, that is kind of uh, my little tutorial on how to do the actual recolors. Um, to do the shaders that I use, it's basically kind of the same thing, except you would do it with the line art itself. You would like figure out whichever shader you want to use and uh, put it on top of the line art or replace the line art in some cases. Make sure that the make sure that the file would still be called line art. Make sure it's lined up properly. If it's lined up differently, then you're gonna have like some kind of glitchy art and such. But um, anyways, uh, I feel I feel like that wraps up what I know how to do. I know a lot of people want to know how to add additional colors into the game. That is something I'm trying to teach myself how to do still. There are tutorials out there that uh, are like on Google Docs and such that you could read up on. I've been like looking at them. It's really it's really interesting. But for now, I think I'm gonna wrap this up here. This is about what I know how to do for this. And uh, hopefully, if you guys want to uh, go ahead and like change up what the cats look like in your games as well, hopefully this will help you figure out how to do that. Uh, I'm sorry this isn't. I'm sorry if I like didn't make sense at all. I'm sorry if I like fumbled over my words. I did not have a script when I was trying to do this and I am not the best at explaining things. So I really hope that you were able to follow along. If not, um, I'm sure that people on the official clan gen discord can explain things much better than I can because this is something that I had to kind of teach myself how to do uh, and oh, I didn't even know I could scroll for that. Okay. Apparently scrolling on a cat. New thing I've discovered. Scrolling over a cat pulls up their information. Okay. That's interesting. But yeah, anyways, guys, thank you all so much. Um, hopefully that the, hopefully this has been uh, very uh, helpful and educational for you. And uh, if you want to learn how to do your own recolors or uh, stuff like that, um, I hope that this helps. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up here. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the future. Stay safe out there, everybody.